CustomTacticals.com here. Um, the knife we're looking at right now is the uh, CRKT Alishowitz E-Lock. Um, this one's got the brown aluminum scales with the fake guilloche patterning that uh, that Alish Alan likes to use on his custom knives and CRT kind of faked it on here on the aluminum. It's a nice looking knife. Um, this is a little bit uh, cheaper than most of the knives I tend to review, but uh, I really wanted to uh, take apart a knife with an E-lock, which is this lock here. Um, I personally don't really like the E-lock because you're holding the knife, and it, it's, it's really easy to just, oops, push that and have the knife close on your fingers. and It's really not a good place to have a lock release, in my opinion. Um, it's kind of a nifty thing, you know, to have it somewhere else, you know, something different. I guess every maker feels like they need to uh, create their own locking system now. Um, not that this is bad, this just uh, isn't the most uh, safe, in my opinion, um, under all conditions. Um, given that I paid 30 bucks for this knife on eBay, um, I'm actually really impressed with with uh, what it all comes with and stuff like that, you know, fancy milled out stuff here, you know, big pivot, fancy aluminum scales with bronze color, and of course these are steel liners, I think, um, that uh, Sierra Kitty always uses in their knives, the 420J2 stuff, and this uh, deep pocket clip here, um, similar to, well not that similar, but uh, Kind of similar to the Allen's uh, custom pocket clips that he makes. Um, the E-Lock is, is is okay if you if you don't if you don't um, look at the fact that it's easy to accidentally like if you're in a situation have this accidentally close on you um, because it's easy to push this. Uh, it's it's otherwise it's it's a fairly fairly safe lock. I, I did the whack test on it. And uh, as you can see, when you lift this, there's like a little wedge that goes in behind the blade tang there and lets you close it. And then when you open it, that thing closes down and it uh, prevents you from opening it. Pretty simple design. Um, there's a what looks to be a leaf spring on this side to give you some spring on this on this button here. It's just a leaf spring. So it still relies on a spring like a lot of the other... Um, Locks. I guess you could say a liner lock relies on a spring because the entire liner is uh, is a spring, spring tempered. Um, but uh, this relies on the second spring. Um, still, still a pretty simple lock. And uh, the knife's not bad either. Um, I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of steel is actually on this one. Um, it's, uh, it's probably not something that's too high-end, uh, one of those Chromovo-type steels, or, uh, maybe AUS-8 if we're lucky, but, uh, probably not. I know CRKT stopped using AUS-6 in their knives, so, made in Taiwan. Very acceptable quality. Um, it's a little bit small though. I was kind of expecting a bigger knife. I've had a couple of custom Allen Lishowitzes and they're usually bigger than this. Uh, I don't know why CRKT, CRKT made this one so small, but I basically bought this just so I could take it apart and take some pictures of the E-lock mechanism, so not a crazily in-depth review. So, uh, hope you liked it. Have a good one.